Okay guys, do you guys remember the year 2016? For me, it was a pretty good year, not gonna lie. Now, a lot of things did happen during that year, like the crazy controversial election at the time, uh, crazy news outlets with the media just being exaggerating over everything. But there's just one particular thing that actually spoke to my mind that I made a few years ago that I'm actually gonna bring back into light. As a joke, when I was still learning my niche on YouTube, I made a video about the 2016 clown sightings rant during that time when it actually happened. But what actually really concerns me now is what actually happened to that event, and not only that, uh, why did this thing come and go so quickly? What's up everybody, I'm Amarks, and today we're going to explain the story and origin of how this whole 2016 clown sightings occurred. Now, as far as I remember, the movie It was coming out in 2017, but there was like previews and teasers of that movie that was being remade by Stephen King or whatever. And what's really interesting was this whole first sighting first started back in Green Bay, Wisconsin for a movie plot stunt, and I guess people took it out of hand by the media. And you know what happens with one little rumor? Sometimes that one little rumor gets spread into other cities and then that other city spread it with different misinformation. So what probably happened was a crazy incident also started back in Southern Carolina during this time where two freaking eight-year-olds were literally led to the nearby woods by two people dressed up as clowns and masks. No one really knows why, but nothing really happened in particular yet. And this was actually getting out of hand at one point. There was actually some crazy warnings in other countries around the time of Halloween that came out. And what's actually even more interesting is that it was getting so hectic and insane that people were literally trying to defend themselves from these clowns because these teenagers probably thought it was really funny to go out, knock on people's doors and get in people's security cameras and dress up as clowns just to scare people around Halloween. But there's also those mentally unstable people that could potentially do something to someone. But for the most part, as far as I know, Except for one crazy story in Florida where a group of teenagers got attacked by a bunch of clowns around Halloween. Uh, nothing much came out of it. And most of these people weren't wearing just like a clown mask or something very like little. They were actually wearing full on suits like they were dressed up for Halloween or for like the Jester Joker clown or something. And they would actually try to scare people. And it was actually pretty concerning because we don't know which ones were the actual people that were just <laughs> messing with people and the ones that are really mentally unstable. So on August 1st. 2016, yes. Five years, exactly five years today when this happened on uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, of course, like, like I said earlier, uh, there was five pictures of these killer clowns that were in downtown Green Bay, Wisconsin. Apparently, social media uh, kind of took pictures, found pictures of them, and then it blew up and was shared around on mainly on Facebook and other news outlets, Snapchat, pretty much anything you could find. Now, during this movie stunt, the movie stunt wasn't inspired by the movie It. It was ironically that a year later. But this movie was actually inspired from another short, uh, low budget movie called Gags the Clown, which is actually now coming out this year, September 3rd, which is another reason why I'm making this video as well. This got so big, it started getting spread to massive media outlets like Fox News, C uh, CBS, and all the major, N K NBC, and all the other outlets. But the media kind of also took it out of proportion, saying that there was these random people on Halloween during this time need to dress up as clowns. But they didn't really give much of context, at least for most of the media sources. And behold, it became a massive trend in 2016 of dress up as a clown and scare people. And it was actually getting pretty bad. It was where people were actually dressing up as clowns to chase people on school buses. They were actually dressing up and also luring kids in woods from like multiple groups of clowns in different states around the world, especially Southern Carolina. And uh, also what's actually insane was uh, there was actual scarings and actual potential attacks where people are coming at people's doorbells and security cameras of them stepping in front of their house just kind of scaring the uh, homeowners when they were trying to just sleep or something just to frighten them. And another thing too was uh, they would actually uh, go as far as like trying to get really close to strangers. And some of them I've seen on videos where people are actually defending themselves on camera with a baseball bat. And most of them didn't do anything because most of them were just in on the joke, which is kind of a messed up joke considering what happened. And not only that, um, with uh, they also had some crazy YouTubers doing some clickbait, trying to get views off the internet at the time. Like I remember when I was learning my niche, like I said earlier, <laughs> I was making a joking rant video. If you want to check that out, by the way, I'll link this at the end of the video. But yeah, it was not a good time to dress up as a clown in 2016, especially if you're a professional clown. 
But what's also very insane is that other countries actually picked up on it and they actually were giving out warnings to like Russian and British citizens to ban and <laughs> temporarily ban clown costumes and everything just so uh, they don't get hurt or whatever. And it was pretty intense, like that's how you know it was getting really bad. What was kind of the final set in stone of all this was there was a rumor that there was going to be a massive clown purge from October 25th to October 31st around the world, which is kind of scary because the purge movies were a big thing back in 2016 and 2014 because there was like a couple, like two or three purge movies were coming out. And I remember hearing rumors about like crazy Facebook purge and all that, but that'd be for another video. And other crazy things too that's happened on the internet. But yeah, it was getting so bad that the media was warning everyone to stay inside. Uh, they were terrified of trick-or-treaters and everything. And people just kind of just took precaution about it. And they just tried their best not to think about it. And then, very funny enough, literally after Halloween, all the clown people, all the scares and purging of rumors and everything, all went away. Just poof. Just gone. And it was kind of insane because like it came and went by so quick that it was such a time that not very many people would always remember, at least very well. I was very fortunate enough to remember it because I was about 18 during this time. I was, uh, I was just graduated high school just trying to get work my way around and being an adult. So yeah, that, it, was kind of, it was kind of a weird time. Now, I will say this one thing, but let's just hope the movie, The Gage the Clown, that promoted this whole movie in the first place, does not revive this whole trend of, like, dressing up as a clown to scare people. Because this time, it could be very dangerous, and plus, this whole decade has not been great so far with a lot of people, especially the last couple years. So, during this type of crap, dude, just, we don't need anything like a freaking, we don't, need, we don't need anything like the Joker movie riots, like, come on, dude, we all need to chill out and try to move on from this, and yeah. This is, yeah, this could be really bad. <laughs> Anyways, everybody, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting topic about the whole clown sightings and how it happened. To me, I thought it was cool. And also, if you really enjoy the content, uh, make sure to leave a like, because why not? Because I'm pretty cool, and I actually kind of look like a clown myself, so why not like this video? If you really want to stick around and just kind of hang out with me while I tell you about some crazy internet finds and morbid curiosity with all, along with some commentary, uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll put some more out there. And let's hope this month is a great one, because I have some good things coming in mind. Okay, so until further ado, I'll see you guys next time.